Okay, today I'm going to try and demo how to export from Final Cut Pro and use uh, Apple's compressor app to get a video file that will play at high quality on the Western Digital Live TV. Western Digital TV Live. Hmm. Anyway, okay, first thing we're going to do is we have our completed project. I've got uh, Bruce here for you again. I'm going to click on the timeline so it's selected so that when I ask it to export, Final Cut Pro knows what I'm talking about. I'm going to export a QuickTime movie, not QuickTime conversion, QuickTime movie. So that's, in theory, a full quality version. The important thing I want to make sure is that I make my movie self-contained. Um, I'm going to put it in my FC, uh, nope, Spring 14 demo. Um, I've already made it. There it says Bruce movie dot so I'll call this Bruce movie. Um, current settings include audio and video, no markers, make movie self contained. At this point, you would hit save. I've already made it. I'm going to cancel. So now we go and we open compressor, which opens up and looks something like this. Um, Apple is trying to make our lives better and always making it slightly more confusing. This template arises. If we're creating a DVD, great, you can click Create DVD. We're doing none of these things at the moment, so we're just going to cancel and uh, refuse Apple's help. Um, again, notice there's multiple windows uh, in the compressor uh, interface. You're going to go to Add File. We'll go and get the uh, QuickTime Bruce movie that I, I just made and that inserts it right here. So what we've done is we've indicated this is the file that we're going to work from. From there, it will probably look something more like this. You grab the arrow, you go to formats, and we're going to grab, we're going to go to the QuickTime format and we're looking for QuickTime H264. Uh, now this is a, a .mov type file. And what you need to do is you grab it and you drag and drop it up there. Okay, so just like in um, Final Cut Pro, you need to make sure that you have selected this compression uh, up here. And then the inspector window, inspector, uh, will then give you information about your file. So what's great here is that you can see it's going to be uh, in the H.264 codec uh, or compression and it's going to have the file extension .mov, which is a QuickTime file, which should play on the uh, Western Digital. Um, couple things to pay attention to now. Now this is the overview, that is the, or the summary. That's this, this window here. When you go next to it, you have now the encoder. So you can play with the video settings and you can uh, create, you can, uh, control the, the quality. I'm going to recommend you set this to 15,000 kilobits per second or 15 megabits per second. Um, you don't have to worry about optimize for download. Keyframe's fine. And you'll notice that even though you'll want to, you can't adjust this bar. Um, I would stick with best quality multipass. H.264 is the type of compression you want, and then you've you've set the, th the data rate to 15,000. We'll click OK. Um, if, and then pretty much from there, everything else can remain as is. Um, there's various commands uh, and actions that uh, compressor is good at doing. Um, if we were, say, compressing this to fit on a 4.3 video, we could go and choose 4.3 as the output. And then um, you say preserve source aspect ratio, and you notice over here it gives you the, the bars top and bottom. But we're not doing that. We're going 100% of source. So we should notice the only change that I've made is average data rate is going to be 15.36 megabits per second, which is pretty good. Next confusing moment, but we're almost done, is you'll notice there's a button that says submit up here, but there's also a button down here that says save as. Now, if you wanted to, 
or if this was your home computer, you could save this particular settings as, say, Western Digital High Quality. Um, you could save that and then you'd find it in your settings. But today what we're doing is we want this movie to be compressed at this standard and what it currently says right here is source, it's going to put it right next to where the original is. So what we're going to do is just press submit. It will ask us to name the file, so if you want to change the name on it, um, go ahead and do that and then you'll submit one more time and here goes the bar. So if Seems like it's going to be slow at this time. There you go. So this is the exciting point. You get to watch the bar go across. So if you look in the finder, documents, Jeff, folders inside of folders, you'll notice, oh, of course, I think it's actually Spring 14 video art under my demo file. Uh, here is the file that's being written right next to the file that is being uh, referenced. Basically that's it. I hope that this demo is helpful and uh, look forward to your feedback and seeing your projects. Thanks.